2019 Mazda MX-5 Me out for review, fabulous sports car just enough technology The world's iconic sports car the Mazda MX-5 Me out grows more desirable for 2019 with 26 more horsepower from a higher revving engine and as much lovable top-down fun as ever centering its 30th year The Me out has a smattering of driver assist technology not too much not too little to help drivers when they want or need it of the 300 part model currently sold in America it is the 2019 Mazda Me that spot on nails its chosen mission sporty driving for two full-size adults in a car tuned to itself on twisty public roads not the racetrack the Me is a car you deserve to own at once in your lifetime and experience automotive perfection the 2019 MX-5 is the one you should get for the MX-5 there are now seven variants four for the soft top convertible three for the hard top convertible Mazda previously offered an entry trim MX-5 sport convertible only then for soft top and hard top a sporty trim for enthusiasts and racers MX-5 club and a more comfortable cruising trim MX-5 grand touring but then the duty crowd wanted the boy racer parts ghost on shocks limited flip differential so now there's an MX-5 GDS as well no automaker turns down customers who want more options boxes to check the car that doesn't need every last driver access that extreme tech we're firm believers that driver assists generally are a good thing they make skilled drivers better in their off moments and they keep stupid drivers out of accidents Honda and Toyota who lead the way with branded safety packages Mazda has most of them too under the umbrella by Afterpens though the safety gear varies from vehicle to vehicle so what you get new this year is a rear camera standard in all trend lines the first for a North American MX-5 model Mazda says it's also here because it's required on all cars now the Grand Touring model GT GDS comes standard with lane departure warning blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert also standard on club model traffic sign recognition stop signs speed limit automatic high beams steering headlamps and rain sensing wipers the sport and club trim offer as options smart city brake support blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning the one key omission is adaptive cruise control which is helpful both on long trips and in stop and go meeting both of which MX-5 owners might do and the trunk is big enough for a couple with three to four duffel bags the MX-5 also lacks surround view cameras but then the car is pretty small at 154 inches long eight less than a Honda fit 7500 rpm headline for mega faithful or is it 7200 the 2019 MX-5 is the mid likely fresh of the fourth generation Mia the line the first shift in 2015 jet were ushered in the RF retractable fast back hard top conversion from 2015 to 2018 the MX-5 used the 155 HP 2.0 with high active engine from the Mazda 3 called the MD1 the 2018 MD2 variant UPS horsepower 17% toward improved marginally by 3 pound feet to 151 and the red line max RPM jumps from 6,800 to 7,500 RPM it means you can reach 60 miles per hour in second gear in about 6 seconds without a 2 to 3 upshift and on back road twisties you may be able to stay in third gear without an upshift to fourth then a downshift to third for a corner the Mazda Club faithful got their hands on the advanced press briefing power points and freaked out when they saw the performance curve above it appears to show a 7200 rpm headline not 7500 Mazda explained 7500 rpm is a low gear transient condition redline when driven aggressively for instance when racing or running up the gears under hard acceleration that turns out to apply to twisty roads if you don't hold the throttle above 7200 rpm for extended periods a wider power than also means the power doesn't drop off significantly before the red line forcing an upshift horsepower does not always go up with added RPMs living the dream along the Pacific Coast if there's a perfect match it's a well-behaved sports can and California Route 1 the 655 mile Pacific Coast Highway that stretches from San Diego almost to Oregon Mazda turned loose a group of journalists in San Luis Obispo California with instructions only to show up to Monterey the day later and in downtown San Francisco the day after that it was possible to feel and smell the salt air of the ocean, then zip up and down roads to the inland and temperatures as high as 110 degrees. Then we turn to the coast and a summer rainstorm. Both Mazdas are great fun to drive, the soft top and the RF retractable fast back, or convertible hard top. The RF is quieter with the power top closed and is preferable if you're doing a lot of long distance. Driving the six-speed manual is as slick 
as of here box can be although the automatic is pretty good we hear no one really wanted the lone automatic in the fleet after we drove Mazda brought in bloggers and lifestyle journalists and replaced most of the manuals with automatics according to Dave Coleman managing engineer for Mazda North America the MX-5 is designed for road people can drive without going to the track it's disappointing he says to have a 458 ppm w okay that loafs on public roads trump the throttle and you're in speeding ticket territory a second or two later what's the point coleman asks for all the owners who never do the mw club track day events they're driving a fast car slow there are many improvements yet the 2019 methodist weigh only about 20 pounds more the soft top weighs 2339 pounds 42 more for the automatic the hard top are at six speed weighs 2453 pounds 122 pounds more than the soft top and the automatic adds 46 pounds improvements beyond the engine customers ask for a telescope steering wheel Mazda made it happen while adding just a half pound of weight to boost power without going to a turbo Coleman says Mazda used classic hot rodding solutions improving airflow into and out of the engine minor weight savings help the engine red higher each piston is 27 Grams lighter 1.0 ounce and the rods are 31 grams lighter 1.4 ounces. Master it's the soft top 6 speed at 26 miles per gallon fitted, 34 miles per gallon highway, 29 miles per gallon combined. The automatic is 26 slash 25 slash 29. The RF 26 slash 34 slash 29. Manual 26 slash 35 slash 29. Automatic. My co-driver and I got about 30 miles per gallon in both the manual soft top and hard top in spirited driving. Should you buy the 2019 Mazda MS 5 now? That's Mazda's identifier for cars sold in the US is the best Mazda sports car ever. With due respect to the rotary engine RX. Last year Mazda sold 11,294 X5S, the 19% increase owing in no small part to the advent of the hardtop convertible by SL, the MX5 as the fine at 123 Spider and sold 4,478 last year by SL, better relative to the MX5 in other parts of the world, Mazda says, and it's the joint relationship that convinced Mazda to continue the MX5 into its fourth decade, while sales seem small compared with the fourth Mustang. 2,000 sales last year or Chevrolet Corvette 45,000 sales last year it still outsells 100 other cars in the US including every Porsche offered as a convertible if you want open air driving the MX-5 and companion 124 Spider are pretty much in the class of their own also in an affordability class of their own for serious performance the MX-5 RS Club will start at $33,240 including $895 shipping the GD is $34,230 and the GDS Comfort Options at $750. The equivalent MS5 Club Soft Top was about $2,200 less for the 2018 RF Hard Top. Buying an MX5 may be more of a personal decision than other cars. If you have a spouse or partner, make sure both of you drive both Soft Top and RF. The Hard Top Convertible makes a lot of sense to an increasing number of buyers. Also, there's no shame in buying the automatic over the stick. Also, no performance options. It's also a tick better in highway fuel. Economy R1 recommendation is getting the iActure Fence Driver Assists Package, a bargain at $450. Conversely, a club package of Trembo, Brakes, Bilstein, Shock Absorbers, and Reef Aero Seats is $4,670. At that point, you're closing in on the likely base price of the resurrected BMW D4, which returns as a 2019 model along with the similar Supra. It bears repeating if you love cars, you should own the Honda.